Praise God. May gabi niyo sa tanan. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Before we start, let us pray. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this evening. We honor you and we welcome the Holy Spirit in this place. And we thank you, Lord, for giving us the heart of a humble heart, Lord, just like Jesus Christ. Lord, whatever word, O oh God, that we hear and whatever word that I speak tonight, Lord, everything, Lord, will not be coming from my own uh, words, but it is from the Holy Spirit, O oh God, that as I hear from the Holy Spirit, and so I speak, O oh God. Lord, let me only speak your word and nothing but your word, O oh God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. That everyone, Lord, will receive your word, including me, O oh God. Even as I preach it, O oh God, I believe that it is you who also speaks with me, through me, and for me. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. So, um, I would like to, una sa tanan, gusto na ko nga, I would like to welcome all of you to, for tonight. Uh, thank you very much that you made it here. This is not an accident, nga naamo din he. This is not an accident, nga naamo din he, but it is a divine appointment by God na, that you are here. I believe that um, sa to ang worship ganiha, uh, the Lord is here. The Lord has been moving and speaking to us, and even through our worship, nagapamuhat ang ginoo sa to ang makasing kasing Amen. 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 So tonight, I would like us to 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 ask ourselves, and I would also like to ask you, nga uh, the title of this message it is the highest calling. So ang pinakataas na tawag. This is uh, I'm, I'm just amazed because the word that God gave me is kanang parallel to the worship songs that we have. No, I believe that this is the Lord that is that this is the Lord asking us all. Uh, to, to search our hearts and to really ask ourselves, now what really is the highest calling? So para ninyo igsoon, what is the highest calling? Para ninyo unsa man ang pinakadako o pinakataas nga tawag. What is the highest calling? Is it to be an apostle, to be a prophet, to be a teacher, to be in the fivefold, to be in the pastor, to be a worship leader, to be the most anointed preacher in the whole world? Or is it to be someone like Billy Graham? Or to be someone like Reinhard Bonnke, nga who, who won many souls to the Lord, is that the highest calling? So, you said no. We will, we will, uh, ato ang sutaon kung what is the highest calling. Kung sino yung pinakataas na tawag nga, gusto sa ginoo nga, ato ang masabtan. What God wants us to understand. What really is the highest calling? Kung sino yung pinaka Dako, parang kung sa'yo pinaka-importante nga tawag sa ginoo sa mo ang kinabuhi. Have you ever thought, or have you ever asked yourself, why was I saved? Anong giluwas mo ko sa ginoo? Why did Jesus Christ die on the cross to save me? Is it just so that I can go to heaven? Para lang ba maka-add to kaglangit? Or is it just because you want a ticket? Nga, I don't want to go to hell. Hell is terrible. Hell is or horrible. Diba? Hell is tremendously ugly. No, I don't want to go to hell. No, but sometimes, many of the Christians, and this is this is not a word to condemn, but this is a wake-up call for everybody. Because many, many of the Christians inside the churches today, they think that the reason why they were saved is because, just because, they they were they are entitled to go to heaven no just because they want to go to heaven and they want to escape hell and that's what they call the escapism no nga gusto sila nga makaikyas gikan sa impierno that's why they receive Jesus Christ but i'm telling you ladies and gentlemen that of all of the so many testimonies that i have heard nga nakaadto og langit the people who went to heaven and came back on earth and people who went to hell and came back on earth they said that naghan kaayo, there were so many Christians that they found in hell because they only wanted Jesus just to escape hell. You see? And there are so many in the, in the, in the Christian community, in the churches today, nga mahadlo, nga muadtog impyerno, or they just received Jesus Christ just because they don't want to go to hell. But, they don't, but at the back of their mind, they don't also like Jesus. No? Dili ka gusto mo impyerno, but you don't want Jesus. You don't like Jesus. Why? 
they don't like Jesus. Why? Because Jesus, when he said that if you really want to follow me, you, you have to keep my commandments. No? You have to keep his commandments from Genesis to Revelation. It's not that when you got saved, there are things or we, there are commandments in the Bible na dili na applicable which are not applicable to a Christian. There are many. This is and and I am saying this not because I want to I want to condemn or I want gusto dili na gusto nga dili na ko intention nga pakaulawa na uban. But this is this is to 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 make others realize that something is wrong with 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 the mindset of the church today. Diba? We think like we think like Judas. There are so many inside the, the Christian community, inside churches, who think like Judas. No? How does Judas think? Example. When, when, when a woman poured out that expensive perfume, that alabaster jar, at the feet of Jesus Christ, when say you ni Jesus, oh no! How many months ato siya? That's a year. A year of salary. You just poured in the, at the feet of Jesus. Kamahal, kasayang ato. But Jesus said, no. That's, that's the most humbling, that's, that's something that I, I desire from my bride. Diba? Diba? There are so many Christians who think like Judas. Lord, kasayang man sa akong panahon. Oy. Lord, I don't want to go to church because no one will feed my pigs. I have so many laundry. Lord, it's raining. Lord, I don't have a fare. Lord, Lord, I'm sick. Lord, I can't get up from my bed. I'm so sleepy. I'm so tired. I can't do your commandment. Lord, I will not obey you because this and this and this. Lord, because my husband. Lord, because of my wife. No, dagat mga because, because, kuskus, balungos. We have so many reasons before the Lord. But you know what, it's all. I believe that the highest calling is more than what we can do. And what what we can do for the Lord, diba? They, two of the two of the most influential persons in my life that I consider as one of the kind of powerful voices that shaped and influenced me in my belief and in what I stand today are kind of David Wilkerson and Jeremiah Johnson. David Wilkerson said, "All true ministry comes out of intimacy with Christ." Ang tanan nga tinuod nga pagpamuhat, it only comes out from your intimacy with Christ. I'm telling you again, all true ministry comes out only from intimacy with Christ. Yeah. You cannot have the purest form of ministry not unless you are intimate with Jesus Christ. Not unless you have a relationship, you have a growing relationship with Jesus Christ. That's the only time that you can say that I, that I have a ministry. Why? Because many of those who also have the Judas mentality think that just because I am doing something that I am important and that I can go to heaven. What does Ephesians 2 chapter, verses 8 to 9 says? For it is by grace that we have been saved through faith and it is not by our work so that no one can boast. Diba? Walay pwede nga makapanghinambog. Diba? Lord, and in Matthew 7, 21 to 23 said, On that day, many will say, Lord, didn't we prophesy on your, your name? Lord, didn't we heal the sick? Didn't we cast out demons? Didn't we cleanse the leper? Didn't we raise the dead? Lord, didn't we, be, didn't we speak in tongues? Lord, I'm the most anointed worship leader. Lord, I sold so many CDs. My songs have been sung in so many churches all around the world. But on that day, the Lord will say, Depart from me. I never knew you. That's the most, that's one of the, one of the things that we don't, I mean, that's the most painful sentence that a Christian can hear from the Lord Himself. Imagine you're facing to the whole, you're standing before the Holy God and the Lord will say, you pahawa! Tungkol kay wala ko makaila ka mo. Can you imagine how tragic would that day be? And then the Lord will tell you, I'm sorry, I do not know you, wala ko makaila mo. Why? Because these people thought, or maybe we are part of it. Sometimes we become part of it. We think that just because we are busy in the ministry that we are fine with God. Your performance in the ministry will not, will, does not necessarily equate to the level of your intimacy with Christ. Right. 
Amen? Amen. Dili mo't pasabot that you raise the dead. That every time, even uh, even though your shadow will just by, we will just pass by someone who is lame and sick, nga, nga they get healed just by your shadow. That doesn't mean that you are fine with God, that you are right with God. There was this one preacher, so and that he died, namatay siya, and he 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 went to the Lord, and the Lord said, "My son, I'm sorry, I cannot let you in my kingdom." And then he was like, "Lord." I want so many souls in your kingdom. And they're inside there, Lord. See? See that person? I know him. And then you know what the Lord said to him? I'm sorry, but you cannot go inside. Why? Because you never learned how to love. And it's one thing also in so on that we have to learn while we are here on earth how to love. Love like God. Diba? The greatest commandments, the Ten Commandments, was summarized into two. First, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, and with all your strength. And second, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Now, sometimes we fail. Sometimes we think, I cannot love. My God, I hate that person. No? Dili ko ganahan, makakita ato niya. Kay murag magkulo-kulo akong dugo. My, my, my blood boils when I can see his face. No? Or sometimes, like for example, when we go out, Lord, dili ko ganahan mag-ampo na niya, kay, kay gisumbag ko na niya, or nag, nag-aaway mi sa una. Di ba? We, 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 we sometimes, we, we, kana, we tend to, to overlook love. And you know, it's so on, of all the things, of all the things that, that, that remains here on earth, love is the only thing that's eternal. People will forget your name, People will forget if you graduated or not. People will forget. Sometimes people will forget the kind things that you did. But people will never forget how much you love. People will never forget if you love. And the Lord will never forget if you learned how to love. And so also Jeremiah Johnson said, to add to that, ministry to the house of God is ministry to the God of the house. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, our ministry is not just healing the sick, cleansing the lepers, raising the dead, speaking in tongues, or leading worship, or feeding the poor. That's not ministry. That's not just ministry. But many in the churches today, so on, they think that, ah, I have a ministry. I'm feeding the children, I'm giving to the needy, I'm giving to the poor. Selfie da yun, post sa Facebook pa. No? And worse is that giving to the children, feeding to the feeding the needy, and vice versa, taking a picture, posting to the Facebook, and then soliciting sponsorship outside the country. And then the sponsorship does not go to the person na ilang gi picture pa. The per, the person that was taken the the, the 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 subject of the picture did not receive even single peso. What do you call that? What do you call a person who takes something that is not of his property? Corrupt, thief, rubber, isaya, kawatan. Diba? Basta yung ganyan sa revelation, asa pa dalong ang kawatan? So, dili po't pa sa... Correct, sa kalayo sa impyerno. So, igsoon ko, I'm telling you, dili ang atong label, mawag makapasulod nato sa langit. Dili agi kay pastor, apostol, propeta, or bisan pa kung sa kadagana ang membro sulod sa atong simbahan, dili po't pasabot, dili na mo siya sumbanan. That's not the standard for us, for our, for our entrance to the kingdom of God, to the, to the kingdom of heaven. Diba? Dili po't pasabot, nga pastor ka, o nga gikawatan ni mo yung membro, that you can, go to he- you can go to heaven. There are two H where you can go. Heaven or hell. Dili lang. Diba? There are only two things. And so, in Matthew chapter 10, verses 38 to 39, this is the minimum requirement to become a disciple of God, to become a disciple of Christ. Now, this is one thing, this is one thing that we fail. Matthew chapter 10, verses 38 to 39. Jesus said, Matthew 10. 
But this is something that churches do not teach their disciples. Why? Because many of the churches today only want members and not disciples of Christ. They only want members. Members nga, who can become a member of the four P's. You know what's four P's? Antawid, Pamilyang Filipino Program? No, not the government subsidy. But there is also there is also a subsidy inside the church. Why? Because there's so much corruption even inside the church. That's why we need a subsidy inside the church. Even to the point that it came to a point, because of so much corruption inside the church, it came to the point that there are so many sub, mga four piece, mga, mga subsidy recipients. What's four piece? Pungko, pasinaw, paminaw, pauli. Sit down and then shine the, shine the chair, listen to the preaching, goodbye, bye-bye. Without even a change, without a transformation in their life. Diba? Why? Because we are only calling converts, members, mga, mga chair shiners, chair cleaners. No, you can, this is really funny because I used to arrange chairs and then sometimes I would intentionally not wipe the chairs. Why? Because I know that the first. I know the persons who will sit on those chairs, they will just wipe it with their butt. <laughs> These are the kind of Christians na mubalik-balik sa simbahan. They keep on coming back every Sunday religiously, faithfully, but there's no transformation in their life. They never grow. They're like a bonsai. You know what's a bonsai? Yeah. No? It's, at, it's like a balete tree, very, very big, and then you put it inside a pot so that it will not grow very, very big. Diba? It will it will remain like a dwarf. Diba? So it's just cute. So unsa may gamit sa bonsai? Para display, decoration, in short, paabugan. Now if a Christian becomes like a bonsai, you are not of you are not useful for the kingdom of God. You are only for display. Come on, come on now. Now? What what do you want to just become like a display? Gusto mo nga mahimo lang figurine? Nga latawon lang hala ka nice. Ah okay. Ay abog naman siya no. Ah. Magmadunga ganda na. Di ba? No. But this is what Jesus wants from us. He said, "And whoever does not take his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Na? Whoever does not take his cross. Si Bisan Kinsa. Now, many, many in the churches, why I keep on talking about the churches, we should put. Diba? We are the church. We should, it's, it's difficult if I preach to the world. They will not understand. Right? They will not, under, they will not, they, they will not grasp the thought of laying down their life. Huh? What's that? Can that be eaten? Diba? Whoever does not take his cross. Many inside the church does not want to take their cross. They just want to take the hands of God. Lord, give me, give me, give me. No? Give me, give me, give me. <laughs> diba? Give me, give me. Lord, I don't care about your face. I don't care about how you look. I don't care about your heart. I care about your hands. Give me a child. Give me a car. Give me a wife. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Diba? No, we just ask for things. But we don't ask for the one who gives. Ask for the giver and not just for the gift. Because if you ask for the giver, the gift will follow. Amen? That's the same with anointing. Don't ask for just for the anointing. Ask for the anointer. Right. The one who will anoint you. Because if you have Jesus Christ, if you have the Holy Spirit, the one who will anoint you with fire and the power of the Holy Spirit, you will have the gifts. The gifts will follow. Diba? That is why Jesus said, I don't care how many souls you brought to my kingdom. I don't care how many dead you raised. 
I don't care how many lepers you, you cleanse. I don't care how many cancer patients you, you, you save from being dead. All I care is about your heart. I care about your relationship with me. How deep is your intimacy with me? How deep is your relationship with me? Unsa kalalum ang imong pagpakirelasyon sa Ginoo? I am guilty of this because sometimes there are mornings that when I wake up, the first thing that I look for is my cell phone and not God. Kuchit lang, kasi na ina text. Wait, maybe I have a, an email. Or Lord, let me look if I have if I have new notifications in my Facebook, if someone liked my post, shared my post, reacted to my post. No? Especially for young people. We are so affected if people if people like our 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 post. No, it seems like we tend to attach our identity to the things of this world. But you don't know who you are in Christ. Your identity does not depend on what you can do or who you can be here on this world. You know one thing I realized after graduating college and after graduate after 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 being an honor student and having an experience to work, I realized na that everything is meaningless. Because when you die, di ba sa mga lapida? Ano sa English lapida? What do you call a lapida? Lapida. The grave, the, the, the label of the name of the dead person. The stone. The headstone. The headstone. Diba? Dili sila maundang. John Michael Sarumines, MBA, PhD, plak, 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 plak. Pastor, plak, 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 plak. Diba? Kung gusto ko naging nga, magpaputan kag tarpulin. Set a tarpulin in your grave. Put a tarpulin, very big billboard. I won 50,000 souls. I am a pastor. I am an apostle. I am a prophet. I prophesy. Plak, 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 plak. And so what's the use of that for those who will who will read? Diba? Will the people go to your grave and say, Oh, please prophesy to me. Can a dead person prophesy? No. You're a wak-wak if you can prophesy. Right? Diba? Everything is meaningless. So don't look for your identity here in this world. Because our true identity is only in Jesus Christ and in Jesus Christ alone. Amen. Sometimes we think that if we have, if we do not have money, then we're useless. And I'm very guilty of this before. When I started full time, uh, serving as uh, serving as a full time minister to the Lord, I felt so guilty because I felt like I betrayed my mom because she sent me to school, I graduated college, and then I had I had experiences. But to, I came to think, I, I mean, I came to conclude to myself that I did not betray my mom. I just obeyed the Lord. Diba? Because I think, because it, it, it was, it's a culture in our family that if you do not finish college, you're useless. We can't respect you. Diba? It's a cultural thing. But you know, we don't, your, your identity does not depend on the culture or of the country where you belong. Your identity depends on the kingdom of God. Yes. Amen? Because if you are born again, you are no longer a citizen of the Philippines or a citizen of America, of Korea, Japan, France, or whatever country it is, but you have been transferred to the, as a citizen of heaven. Amen. Diba? Your end goal, I mean, your, 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 your priorities should change. That's why in Romans chapter 12, verse 1, that it says there that do not be conformed to the patterns of this world, but be renewed, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Diba? Yeah. Dapat dilita mangita sa mga butang nining kalibutana. And so going back, that's why the, the, the most important thing that we have to we have to we have to, to make a priority in our life is our intimacy with Christ. Yeah. That's the most important thing. It's not the ministry or the things that we do for the Lord, but the first ministry that we should be looking after is our ministry to the God of the house. Because no matter how anointed you are, but if you do not have the anointer, your preaching is useless. It doesn't have power. Maybe you can give facts, knowledge, 
But it can, it, dili, dili siya magdala of transformation. There will be no transformation in the life of those people who hear you. Diba? You can heal the sick. You can heal the sick. You can raise the dead. But what, what if, what if you, you, have, you have raised them, you have raised them from the dead, you have, you have cleansed the leper, you have, you, have, you, have, you have spoken in tongues, but still, when you come before God, diba? You, because no one knows, hangtod kanus ata, no one knows when we will go, when we will die. Right? That's why we have to change our priority. We have to allow God to change our priority. Lord, dapat pa ba na ni Muhaton? Lord, do you think I should do this? Lord, dapat pa ba na ako ni nga, nga ati ba nun? Because sometimes, ang ministry becomes our God also. And it becomes, it becomes our God. No? So, in Psalm chapter 27 verse 4, Psalm chapter 27 verse 4, the psalmist, the psalmist here, I think this is David. Yeah, this is David. He said, One thing have I asked of the Lord that when I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in His temple. One thing I ask. One thing I ask, our worship leader asked, the Lord asked our worship leader, what do they want? What do you want? What are you asking from the Lord? Are you just asking His hands? Or you're asking the one who gives? The owner of that hand. David here is saying, one thing have I asked of the Lord. And you will see that in the life of David, that this is the pattern of David's life. There is one thing that David asked of the Lord, Lord, that I may dwell in your house all the days of my life. Lord, I want to be with you. That's why David praises and worships the Lord like crazy. Diba? Ang sa ingon sa iyang wife na si Mikal, bupang naman tingnan niya kung bana. I think my husband is already crazy. He's king and then he took off his kingly garment. And then he danced like crazy for the Lord. Diba? Why did he do that? Did you ask yourself? Because there's one thing that David asked and that he will always seek. Pangitaong yun sige ni David, Lord, I want to dwell in your house all the days of my life. Lord, it's like saying, Lord, gusto ko, Lord, kung asa gani ka mo ato, mukuyog ko. Kita mo ng bata, just like a kid. Just like a kid. When, he, when, when his mother or his father would go somewhere, Ma, I will go with you. Our attitude should be like that with the Lord. Lord, wherever you go, I want to go. Lord, wherever you want me to go, go with me, just like Moses. Lord, if you're not going with me, then don't send us. Right? Si Moses, tingnan siya nga, Lord, kung dili ka mo kuyog na ko, ayaw na lang. Magunasangan ko rito. Diba? But sometimes you want to go even if without God. We have a joke before. Nga kanabitong, if, if we have, if we have, kanabang madautan yung sakyanan, if, if we have problems with, with the, the right that we have, we'll have a joke now. See, the Lord didn't send us here. Now who will help us? Diba mo yung tangan na? Wala biyat nagisugo sa ginoon din eh. Diba ko sa'yo, madautan din. Pag, may, pag nabot na ka dito sa mong, kana wala pa ka nakaabot, niya nadautan ka, niya kabalo ka nga wala ka ipadala sa ginoo dito, pero nilakaw ragyo, gihapong ka. Kung tayo tawag ka na. Natote? Walay buot. Walay buot. Diba? Sometimes we are like that. Hala Lord, nindot lagi dito. Lord, I wanna go there. Hala Lord. Lord, I... I I want to be part of that of that church because they give food after that service. They have free rice. They have lechon baboy. No? I want to be part of that church because it's a mega church. Sikat. Diba? But the Lord didn't send you there. 
Diba? But David, he said, Lord, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Lord, I want to go wherever I go. I want you to go with me. And whatever I do, Lord, I want you to be with me. Lord, I only want to do what you want me to do. Diba? Pumita to nga si David, when he tried to transfer the Ark of the Covenant, one of his men died. And he was so angry. He asked himself, what's wrong? Diba? And he inquired of the Lord. And then he got to he, he got a revelation. Na, ah, something's wrong with what we did. But why? Because he sought the Lord. Will I seek after? There's always a seeking process for David. David always seeks the face of God. He never stopped seeking the face of God. He didn't say, okay, I'm already anointed, I'm already pastor, I'm already preaching, I'm already uh, laying my hands, I'm praying, I'm speaking in tongues. There, stop. I'm not growing anymore. No, David kept on growing. Diba? Yeah. David kept on growing. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Diba, kanindot, Anna? It's so nice that you will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Yeah. And there's also another psalm, I forgot what verse is that, which says that better is one day in your court than thousand elsewhere. Better is one day in your court. Better is one day in your court. A thousand elsewhere. Wow. Diba? Mas, Lord, ni Anna, si David, I think that's still David. Hingon siya nga, Lord, I'd rather be in your court even just for a day than for a thousand days outside your court. Lord, bisa isa lang kaadlaw, Lord. Nga na ako sunod sa imong korte, Lord. Nga mabati na ako imong presensya. Okay na. Kaysa sa one thousand years, lagi ko nga buhay din eh. Nakaadlaw ko lain-lain ng mga nasod. Pero, wala agyot na ako na sinati imong presensya. Because inside the presence of God, there's freedom. Inside the presence of God, there's healing. There's deliverance. That's, there's everything. Everything that you need is in the presence of God. Everything that the world can give is only a counterfeit of what's inside the presence of God. Kabalo mo? The reason why, pe- why many young people want kind of multiple sex partners is because they want, that, they want the, the, the oozing and the urging of their hormones. And you feel that when you're inside the presence of God. But why many young people want to kanang drink? Wala mo na hibulong. Inig mo inong gani, mahubog. Gusto na po tanga mahuwasan. Inig mahuwasan, gusto na po mahubog. Inig mahubog, gusto na po mahuwasan. But you feel that there's a bit of drunkenness even in the presence of God. Nga nung gusto nga mahubog, nga nung gusto mong gud nga mahay nga. Bro, I hate those drugs, bro. Why do people want to feel the high on the drugs? You know, if, if they just encounter the presence of God. No? Nakasulay na mo anang mahubog mo sa presensya sa ginoo? Makahubog ganin ang baho sa durian? Presensya pagha sa ginoo? Right? Durian can inebriate us. How much more? The presence of God. Hallelujah. Now, I also want I also want to talk tonight about the greatest in the kingdom because the high the highest calling is the one the highest calling is to be at the lowest point to be a worshiper of God to be on your knees down on my knees O oh Lord is that the lyrics down at your feet O oh Lord is the most high place. Diba? Down at the feet of the Lord is the most high place. We be nakataas. Gadapit. That's the highest calling. The highest calling is to be called by God. And to be chosen by God. To minister to Him face to face. Diba? Wala mo, wala mo nasuya ni. Don't you feel envy and jealous of Moses? That he saw God face to face. He... He's a friend of God, even Abraham. Wow. Induta jud kaayo. No Lord, I want to see your face. I want to I want to minister to you Lord face to face even bisan pa man Lord sa tiil lang. Bisan sa tiil lang Lord. No? There's one story in the Bible. There's two sisters. I think you're very familiar of them. We can find them in Luke chapter 10 verses 38 to 42. Luke 10, 
38 and 42. Now, as they went on their way, Jesus entered the village. And a woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. So we have here Martha who welcomed Jesus into her house. In verse 39, And she had a sister called Mary who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to his teachings. Martha was the one who welcomed Jesus. And Mary, the sister of Martha, sat at the Lord's feet and listened to his teaching. Verse 40, But Martha was distracted with much serving. And she went up to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Tell her then to help me. See, Martha, she was so busy. She was so busy. Sa iya ang ministry, mo na naga ni Martha ministry, the Martha ministry, are those women nga, who prepares the food, no? who washes the dishes. They're the Martha ministry, the busy ministry, the aftermath ministry, the after and before. No, this ministry, she's so busy. La, la, uy, ang labisa, uy, ang buwan, uy, ang pagkaon, uy, ang buwan. No, very busy. The same thing with us. La, we're so busy, pag mata, la, kuan, la, ugas platong ulabay, kuan, TV, la, kuan. No, we're so busy with the things of this world. Kuan. We're like Martha. She's so busy, distracted. We're so distracted. You know why? There's a study, I forgot I forgot what was the, what the name of the researcher, but she said in her study that the more that you spend your time in social media, the lonelier you become. The more that you spend, again, I tell you, the more you spend your time in social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, what else? Huh? Twitter, Google, TikTok, Makakato, Wattpad, all the types of social media. The more that you spend your time in social media, the lonelier you become. Lantawa si Martha. Martha was so distracted with much serving and she said, Lord, don't you care that my sister is not helping me? We become so distracted of the things of this world. When we wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, my day day on. Diba? Kapag ka, mas updated pa ang iyong status sa Facebook kaysa sa iyong status sa iyong relasyon sa ginoon. Right. Your status in your social media is more updated than your status with your relationship with God. Wow. You're updated with what's happening around the world. That's why you're so you're so distracted. Oh my God, Lord, COVID na po. Another COVID. No? Because we're so distracted. But the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, Pablo ba mo? That when Jesus repeats a word twice, that's very important. That means, listen. Murabag, Martha is, it's just like Jesus is saying, Martha, pamina, listen. Martha, Martha, you are anxious and troubled about many things, but one thing is necessary. Mary has chosen the good portion which will not be taken away from her. Jesus Christ is saying to you, Child, my child, my bride, you are so anxious and troubled. You are so busy chasing the world. You are so busy looking for money. You are so busy for your family. You are so busy in your ministry. But one thing is necessary. There's only one thing that's necessary, and that is your intimacy with God. Amen. Because as David Wilkerson said, the true minister, true ministry comes out from intimacy with Christ. You will not have a true and pure form of ministry not unless you have an intimate relationship with Jesus Christ. Not unless you start your day with God, you will never end it right. Kung, again, kung dili ni mo sugdan ang imong adlaw, that you start it with God, you will never end it right. No, that's why in the middle of the day, maglagot ka, you will be anxious, you will be troubled, you will be worried. And we always think about the future. Now James said, do not worry about, I mean, di ba si James? He said niya, don't, don't promise about tomorrow. Man, man, sure day ka na, tomorrow is sure. 
Are you sure that tomorrow is sure? What if you will not wake up tomorrow? What if you're just for today? No? We keep on overthinking. Ano bang advice mag We always think in advance. Mary has chosen the good portion which will not be taken away from her. If you choose the good portion which is in the presence of God, it will, be not, it will not be taken away from you. Yeah. It's always an experience that you will cherish. And the more you have it, the more you will desire for more. No, pareha sa tagline ni Senor Pedro ng Leksyon Manok ba? The tagline of Senor Pedro Leksyon Manok that once stated, always wanted. No? It's just like the presence of God. You know, every time yung mulabay, bito tabi ha, dapit, na Senor Pedro near Jollibee, I can read that, once tasted, always wanted. That's the Lord. Even once you taste the goodness of God, you will always want for more. More, Lord! Yes. No? Yes. When you see someone healed, you, when you get that breakthrough for healing for someone, and you see, oh, wow, someone got healed. Lord, I want more. Yes. No? Yes. Lord, I want more of your presence. If you feel the presence of God, no, it's very important. That's why mom and dad, they always teach us, you, know, you have to spend time alone with God. Because when you are on fire with God, when you're alone, you will be you will bring a very big fire when you are in a corporate worship. Amen. Imagine what kind of fire you can bring to a to a corporate in, in a corporate fellowship na kamung tanan nagdilaab. You are all burning with flames. There will be a big fire. Right. 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 Amazing. There's one testimony in Iligan. They were having this prayer meeting and all of them were so hungry. And their their neighbors were Muslims. And they said. They, the, the Muslims, they called the, 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 fire, the fire station. They said, uh, help, there's a big fire in our neighbor. And they really saw, literal, that the roof of the house was burning with fire. Literal. But when the, when the fireman came, they said, what fire are you saying? We can't see. Wala may nasuno. Nothing was burned. But the Muslims, they saw fire burning at the roof, but the, the house was not consumed. You know what happened? One week after that, the Muslim neighbors got saved. Can you see what kind of change you can bring just by spending time with God alone? Ikaw lang isaid, so on. You can change the world. You can change the atmosphere. You can change your village, your neighbor. You can change your family. Bisag ikaw lang isa. Just because you came into the secret place and you bowed before the Lord and you have the highest calling, you can change your family, you can change your village, you can change anyone because of God. But God, if God is for us, then who can be against us? Right? Now, if you spend time with the Lord, if you spend more time with the Lord, you will experience more fire. And you will experience the burning of your flesh. Your flesh will be killed inside the presence of God. Because the Lord is a consuming fire. He will consume your flesh. He will change your desires, your priorities. You will be dead to yourself. And it will be so easy for you to carry your own cross because you've been to that place, to that secret place. You've been to that one true lover of your soul. Amen? Amen. 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 Yeah. And it was not taken away from Mary. 